get money, the recipe, nigga. Before I get in there, they checkin' my nigga. Might shoot you dead, disrespectin' me, nigga. I want the fatty, consistent and ready. Y'all really be rollin'. I move away like the fade on a train. Welcome to local motion. Say out. Oh. Shit, I get you high in the jetpack, nigga. Niggas all capped as a air pack, nigga. See it in the eyes, they regret my nigga. Every year I ball different whips, my nigga. And I send my mama on a trip, little nigga. A hustle. Three Six Mafia came out. Basically, the first rap group to talk about the devil, essentially. Three Six, Triple Six is, you know, the, the mark of the beast, right? Right, right. Now, you fast forward 2021, and the, the gay rapper Lil Nas X makes a music video where I he actually it. goes to hell and he gives <laughs> Satan a lap dance. I saw it. And, and then, then, then he put out some shoes with a pentagram on it with human blood in it and, and all that type of stuff. So I saw it. you being a, a, a three, six mafia guy that's dealt with all that type of satanic type imagery and so forth. What do you think about that, that video and what he's doing? Hey man, the devil, when I met him, and I hate to say it, I met him, but when I met him, it wasn't what Nas showed us. It was the it was the illusion or the uh, I would say illusion of he was a friend more than he was that dude that Nas showed us. You get what I'm saying? The devil would come in. My uh business partner form or come in your form, he would never come in his raw his raw form to a person. Period. You get what I'm saying? He always gonna come looking like somebody else, talking like somebody else, acting like somebody else. For for Nas to do that. I don't know if Paul won't. Let me shut up. Cause Paul might don't want me saying this. So let me shut up. Let me just shut up. I, I don't know. This devil shit. I mean, we did that shit. You know what I'm saying? We did right. that shit for real. Mm -hmm. Ain't no way you going to be able to say triple six mafia, 666, six, six, or none of that shit without actually meeting the man. You get what I'm saying? And we can act like we have it all our lives. And I'm a, I'm like, I'm gonna be the bullshit nigga and tell y'all the truth. Ain't no way in hell the devil came the way now I said, and, and it worked that way. It's only gonna work the way that he feel like it need to work. I believe in the Lord a lot. I'm rolling with the Lord. I am one of the lowest workers, but I also was able to walk in the devil's den without selling my soul. Y'all know I got shot in Vegas. I was in the room that Tupac died in, so that means that I probably need to have been dead. But just because I believe in the Lord more than I believe in the devil, I'm just saying, Nas was, he was all wrong. He was all wrong. Stop searching for something that you really don't want to be in. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to stop. No, what you finna say? No, no, go ahead. F finish your thought. No, I don't want, I'm not going to say nothing about the way he really is. Because, you know, everybody got their own choice. But stop searching for something that you really don't want to be you can say the wrong word and he'll show up. And I ain't drunk, I ain't high, I ain't none of that. Paul and him know what I'm talking about. Okay, well, I'm glad we got to do this interview because a lot of people have been thinking we're the same person since like 2018. I don't know, they say we sound alike, but I don't hear it. I hear it a little bit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, let's get these questions. I got I got a good four minutes for I have to do another interview. All right, well, let me see. All right, so you said call me by your name is about a guy you met last summer, right? Yeah. 
So can you like elaborate on the meaning of the song? Yeah, okay. The song is about this artist who I met last summer. And he was like, yo, uh, he's like, yo, you wanna you wanna come over? And I was like, oh, he must he must be like he must be like this. Um but he wasn't, but I was like, maybe he is. And it's kind of mean though. So you'll see when I drop the genius thing. All right, and can you like say what was the inspiration behind the video? Inspiration behind the video? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like what I do with everything. Like when I came out, like, okay, okay, um, I'm going to be the one who makes fun of this, you know? So it's like I'm reclaiming this whole hell narrative. Like, okay, we're going to hell. Okay, we're going to hell. Bet, mm -hmm. let me go down there and let me be the baddest bitch in hell. That's a concept, pretty much. So did you sell your soul? And if so, how much did you sell it for? <laughs> I sold my soul for about $55. I sold my soul for about $55. Um, Only 55 it, was it wasn't even worth 100 No. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. All right. So how long did it take you to shoot the video? It took two days to shoot the video, but it took me like two weeks to learn how to pull it in. And I worked out for like every single day for three weeks straight to get like the script to do that shit. But you know, we got there. What was the budget, if you don't mind sharing? I think the budget was like one point something mil. Yeah, I love my label. Shout out to the label if you're watching this. Thank you. All right, and like, I'm reclaiming this whole hell narrative. Like, okay, we're going to hell. Okay, we're going to hell. Okay, we're going to hell. Bet, let me go down there and let me be the baddest bitch in hell. I sold my soul for about $55. No, no. I sold my soul for about $55. No, no, no. Like, okay, we're going to hell. No, 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 no. I sold my soul for about fifty-five dollars. I sold my soul for about. I sold my soul for about. I sold my soul for about fifty-five dollars. Thank you.